how will you make an ice cream cup using AutoCAD? Well, we have to sketch the profile of the cup first using the polyline command. So I give polyline, then I have to start a point from here. Then I must go to arc option. Now I should give the second point because I want to uh, change the curvature of the arc. So I have typed second point. Then it'll ask you for the end point. I'll pick the end point here. Now you can just pick, uh, you are still in the arc mode, okay? So you can pick the next point here. Then I'll go to line mode. So just type L uh, for the line. Then I picked, I turned my ortho mode on and I pick one more point straight down. Then I have to switch over to arc mode. So I typed A for arc. Then I pick my next point here. Then uh, I can just end up picking the last point here. Then one more point here. So that is the bottom of the cup. Now I have to uh, offset this. So I give offset command. Uh, then I'll pick uh, the, I'll have to give an offset distance. So I'll give a small offset distance here by picking two points or else you can give a value. Now this is select object to offset and this is a side. Okay, now we have to connect these endpoints using another polyline arc. So I give polyline and I'll come to arc option. Then I'll pick my second point here and I pick my end point here. Okay, then I'll pick one more uh, point straight down. One more line I'll draw straight down. And then like this I'll draw. Then I have to cut this point. So I give trim command and I'll select uh, these two objects and I'll cut these two excess lines. Now this is the profile of the cup. So you can uh, then give stretch command uh, to do a certain fine tuning on the shape. So I'll give stretch command and I'll uh, using a crossing window, I'll make a selection like this and I'll drag a slightly leftward. Okay. Uh, if you feel that this portion is slightly uh, you know heavier you can just give stretch command and you can reduce that size okay so i have stretched it okay now we have to convert this into a single profile so i'll give p edit i select this then i can go to join option and i'll select the entire poly lines to be joined now it is converted as a single profile okay now you're going to uh, revolve this particular profile about a vertical axis so you have to draw an axis so i'll draw uh, an axis using the polyline command and i'll pick one more point straight up so the ortho is on so the line will be a vertical line now let's give the command revolve so i give revolve then it'll ask me to select the profile first then just give an enter then it'll ask you to define the axis we have options like object x y z etc to define the axis since i already have an object here that object can be used as an axis so just give an enter to execute the default option and you select the object then it'll ask you for the angle of revolution i want to revolve the full circle that is 360 so just give an enter after selecting the full circle so you have made a cup let us see this cup in 3d for that we have to click on the view cube and i'll generate uh, southwest isometric so I'll click here okay now I'll change the display representation to uh, realistic so the visual style is changed to realistic now you can see that this is a bottom view in order to uh, get a top view of this object the easiest method is to rotate this object in 3d so if you want to rotate an object in 3d about any axis you can give a command called rotate 3d so I give a rotate 3d then it will ask you to select the object. I have selected it. Now it will ask you to give an axis about which it is to be rotated. Now this object has to be rotated about the x-axis. So I type x. Now it will ask you for a, a base point of rotation. I will select the base point as any point on this. So I will just pick a point over here. Now it will ask you for the rotation angle. See angle of rotation is uh, can be easily determined uh, using a right hand uh, thumb rule. As per this rule, Point the right hand with the thumb pointed towards the axis about which the object is to be rotated. So the curl of the rest of the fingers will represent the positive direction of rotation of UCS. So when you apply this rule, you can see that the object is to be rotated through an angle of 90 degree. So I give 90. Now you have got the object in the proper orientation. So this is how you make an ice cream cup shape in AutoCAD using the revolve command. Thank you.